What's up, people? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. I am Old Spy, and I got a little bit of explaining to do. So, something terrible happened, and episode 12 of the original playthrough was lost forever. I was rendering it, and I ran out of space, but I didn't know that until after I had already deleted the raw file or the raw film footage I guess I should say recording and I totally lost episode 12 and everything that I had done in that episode so you no know, once you do that in souls you can't get that back so I decided as I was thinking about it as well that my plan for my original playthrough of knocking out individual areas at a time and trying to keep it um, more concise rather than jumping around was would have actually made things harder for people who are just playing this game for the first time or just getting into it so I'm actually going to go back and work in this new playthrough with the old one so the first nine episodes will be the same I have leveled up exactly the same so we're at the exact same point the only thing that I've done different is with equipment so I did not upgrade the broadsword at all I used it up until I got the bastard sword I've actually followed the playthrough to a T except for these changes which I think uh, will make it a little bit better off actually it's really gonna have no bearing going forward except for the weapon I'm using now but I took the bastard sword to plus three and then I took the grand lance to plus five still have the Dranglick sword at plus two which we'll be able to plus three that in a little bit and we'll actually go to the Dranglick sword in a little bit so in episode 10 I believe I was already using the Dranglick sword but I'm actually gonna wait on that for a little bit later so for right now we're gonna use Grand Lance plus five also one of the Varangians dropped the sea bow so we're gonna be using that instead of the short bow because it is just a little bit better especially for our build everything else fashion wise a little bit different I kept the knight set on and I got a royal swordsman helm so I put that on for just a little bit of a different look but our build is the same and we're gonna follow it going forward we're gonna have the same exact build uh, just a little bit different equipment so if you are using what I had in the other playthrough I'm gonna leave those episodes up for a while but then eventually I'll probably take them down once we get to a point where we've kind of outplayed them <sighs> all right so hopefully this doesn't create too big of a mess but we're going to attack things in a different way than what we did originally in episode 10 so originally we went up this way and can took that through the shaded woods into Seldora and fought the Duke's dear Freya we're gonna do something much different this time it's gonna involve a little bit of bouncing around but I think in the end it will be easier it will be an easier path to follow in terms of a difficulty oh hello there an honor to see this room is not as it and only this and this shall I so 2,000 souls is needed for her to move the path you don't have it just farm it up anywhere you can it's really not that big of an amount the lost bestie you should be able to get those souls in no time and once you move it you won't have to move it again so it's a one-time fee some rouge water rogue water rouge water all right you be careful not to run off yeah I think in the end I'm, I think I'm gonna feel a little bit better about this route anyways if somebody is following for the first time uh, this guy, you need 10 faith and 10 int for him to deal with you. I'm just going to tell you to leave him alone. So Will will do just that. 
All right, so now we're going to come out into Huntsman's Cops. This is going to be our stomping grounds for the next maybe two episodes. Let's see, the uh, Grand Lance is pretty crazy. So in this area, you're definitely going to want to have a bow. So you can shoot the moths down so that you don't get poisoned constantly in here. The torch hollow guys will typically drop torches for you. You can see the nice thing about the Grand Lance too is that it tracks really well up and down. So that if there's enemies on the ground or like crystal lizards, it will actually do a really good job with those. Uh, at this door is a trap. To try to roll away from it. see this this lance is doing really damn well take him out let's actually let's see there's an ambush there but we're gonna come this way first because right under here is a nice bonfire shortcut go ahead and rest and then we're gonna go back up I don't know if that guy climbs up here or not yeah, I think he actually runs around Ooh. camera almost got me killed there I think he runs around We'll see him again in just a minute. All right, so here. Yeah, he's not coming. All right, so here. You don't need to jump. You can just sprint off. Right here. We're going to get back to the wall, do it. And then we're going to do a plunging attack like that. To get a Pharaoh's Lock Stone and a token of fidelity. Which will allow us to talk to the guy at... Um, the Hades Tower of Flame. It's actually not the Tower of Flame. It's the uh, cathedral where we fought the old Dragon Slayer. We can actually talk to him now that we have one of those in our possession. All right, so jump off over to here. Get your bow ready. Just look around for any moths that you can see and shoot them. I think there's one more that we're gonna want. Maybe two. I don't even know if we can see them though. Oh yeah, way up there. All right, so we'll go ahead and drop down, and we'll try to do a run. Damn, we fell off too much. Yeah, make sure we don't get cursed by him. We get poisoned. So we'll just keep keep an eye on our health while we fight this guy. He's not too big of a too big of a deal, and now he's dead. A life gem and an Estus. Poison's gone. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here real quick. We got Ricard's rapier. 
Which, once we get our uh, strength and dex high enough, I may actually put together a set that goes with that. Maybe we'll do like a little parrying or something. I don't know. We'll see. Buckler and Ricard's rapier. These items aren't even really worth coming down here for, but Nameless Soldier and Life Gem. Dudes are going to start crawling out and dropping down from everywhere. Bandit's Knife. So a lot of stuff that we really just don't even need. Yeah, let's just keep moving. but whatever all right cool so you can see that shortcut was really useful because now we're right here and we can just reset everything at the bonfire and now we're ready to really start taking on the area that's yeah, always going to drop down right there when you come out so just don't forget about him hood is actually really really useful it's not good it's useful though for item discovery it actually have has I think it does a couple of those pieces that you need. yes it does I think that in the body the chest piece both have it so that's always useful especially with the uh, watch dragon parma Short work of that guy. Watch out for the poison moth up top. Okay, so there's two ways to go, and this is well, it actually leads to a covenant and a boss fight, and we're gonna come back to it, so we're not gonna do that right at this moment, but we will shortly. star and nameless soldier let's go ahead and summon him bashful ray he's kind of fun to have around he's just a shade so he won't be around too long that guy's on a mission man Pretty cool. He's got the shadow set. He's got his binoculars out. That's outstanding. All right. Paramedic ooze. And we should be getting invaded. There it is. Right on cue. You can see this Grand Lance is crazy good. Come on, Bashful. Ooh. Nice. Poison Moss. 
We're going to be coming up on another bonfire soon, so don't be afraid to use your Estus. Calm down. Ooh, got him. <laughs> you see, awesome backstab. Soul Spear. Poison Moss. Green Blossom. And some more Sublime Bone Dust. So, good stuff there. Poison Moss. Always good. Especially the, in the next area. Poison Moss is going to be really useful. Get away from me. Okay, so the bridge is there, but it's up, and the switch is right in here. But it's also going to come with an ambush. That's locked. That's where a bonfire is. See, Bashful Ray is obviously using the old hunter's bone. Because <laughs> he's got some smoke and some disappearance on his uh, rolls. So if we head up this way, this is where we're going to get our key. Which is right there as we get invaded by another NPC. There's the key. So Bashful Ray, again, they didn't... Ooh, we're going to get hit pretty hard here. Uh, he was a shade, and shades don't last very long. Wow, they gave her that heal. That was cheap. Grand Lance is definitely doing some work right now. Get the effigy for that. And now, obviously, let's go ahead and grab the bonfire. Coming here, you got an NPC. Who are you? I thought you'd have. You've said, bitch. You go through his dialogue, he's actually connected to another NPC, which we're not following that quest line, so we're only following two other ones, but you do get the decapitate gesture. Which is. Is it already on there? Whatever. Pipe and fuck off. Pipe. Alright. So you can follow that guy if you'd like. He's gonna move around. Alright, we're gonna rest and get ready to head towards the boss. First thing we're gonna do is go in the cave here. And when we come in here, you wanna watch out for skeletons, but also the curse urns. And the skeletons have um, ah, sorcerers bringing them back to life. So we want to find that guy real quick. Let's roll through this urn. Oof. Right, we got to kill that guy. Nice. That was nice. 
We're gonna get eaten alive here. Come on, sir. Double chug's gonna save the day. And now we can start to turn the tables. Oh no. Alright, so you can see the shortcomings of the Grand Lance. <laughs> this is definitely not good with groups of enemies. Yeah, if I had had the Bastard Sword or the Dranglic Sword out right there, things would have been much different because I would have had some sweeping attacks to clear out the groups. All right. Let's try it again. So what I'll do this time is just take my time. Souls quick. What the? Oh my god, stamina. Alright, so that guy stays dead. Whoa! And we got parried. That was a ridiculous parry, man. Screw that. So the sorcerers don't respawn, which is really nice. Alright, now we're gonna head out this way. Which is basically just the path that we were on to get the key. If you follow that around, you come around here. Got this guy. A little bit of an ambush in here. Which that guy didn't trigger for whatever reason. The old rogues. The rogues. Up here on our right, we got this guy. Right, so now that we've taken him out, those skeletons in there will be nice and easy to handle. There's our boss arena right there, boss fog. But we definitely want to go in here first. So those guys will stay dead now. I don't have to worry about them. Combustion in three shards. Back here. Uh oh. Crystal lizard sauce. Oh! There we go. Okay. Titanite night shard, large and a chunk. We're good. And a flask shard. Now, here is the NPC that we just talked to inside the, or right next to the bonfire. You can actually summon him to help you out. We're not going to do that. We just know that he's there. Once you open this shortcut, you need to. If you're going to use him, you need to summon him there because he will not. I believe maybe this was an old thing, but he used to disappear. His sign used to disappear once you open the shortcut. So just be aware of that. Dangerous jump for. Really, the effigy is only the thing. I guess the lacerating arrows are useful, but oh, we made it. All right, boss time. So this boss fight is a little bit slower. Um, there's a little bit of a trick to it, and I'll walk you through it as we go. So let's just head in. So you got the three skeleton lords up on their bone thrones. When they come down, we want to go for this guy first. Which this one may not be the ideal weapon for this boss fight, actually. Yeah, we're gonna. God, we're gonna take a beating. Run, please. 
Alright, so we still want to focus on the scythe. Okay. Now, now that he's gone, you don't want to mess with any of the other ones yet. Because... He's going to start to spawn a bunch of additional skeletons once he dies. There's our next target, but we're not. We're going to wait just a second here. Here they come. This is actually where... Alluring skulls come in handy. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a terrible weapon for this fight, I'm not gonna lie. It's making it inter interesting, I guess, if nothing else. Looks like we got two more of the... Actually, you know what? Choose our... Choose our uh, uh, R2. This is a brutal fight on our resources. Alright. Keep that guy behind there. Hopefully they... Nope, they did not. Got a couple of them there. Yeah, I would definitely recommend a sword for this fight so you can get some sweeping attacks. Ridiculous tracking on that attack. We're almost there. We need to restock our life gems. <laughs> he was holding that one. Alright, so this is why we saved that guy for last. Because he summons in the bone wheels. Which, if you get a bunch of the... Really? You get a bunch of that going on while you're trying to do anything else. And they actually reduce the number of those that come in. Alright. So there's the skeleton lords. Not too bad. I would definitely would not recommend the Grand Lance for that fight. So the Bastard Sword or the Dranglick Sword at that point would be much a much better option. Get the 
bridge here. We got bonfire coming up. Absolutely worthless ladder. <laughs> Alright, so we got an NPC that we're going to talk to, you, but we are going to hit the bonfire and wrap it up. So that's going to do it for our this episode. We're going to continue on here for a little bit longer. And then we're going to move on out. So I'll see you on the next episode.